is this the future of the restaurant industry? In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how you can actually set up a virtual operation, a ghost kitchen operation out of your very own restaurant. So you can reap all the benefits of the cloud kitchen craze without sacrificing your own restaurant. So make sure you guys keep watching. Hello friends, my name is Wilson, your friend in helping you build a thriving small business and a profitable food business. If you guys enjoy this type of content, make sure you guys give us a thumbs up, smash the like button because that shows me and Jason this is the type of content we should create. We will create more of this just for you. So go ahead right now and smash that like button. And by the way guys, this video is made possible by our friends over at the On Demand Company. Now what are they? If you're thinking about operating and creating a ghost kitchen operation from your restaurant, and if you don't wanna do any of the legwork, you don't wanna do the competitive analysis, deal with all the analyzing of what is gonna be on demand. Is it gonna be profitable? And the menu creation, and also listing and communicating with all the third party apps. If you wanna skip all of that, you know what? The on-demand company, they're gonna do all of that for you. Definitely check them out in the link below, say Wilson sent you, and you're gonna get this whole setup completely for free. That's right, you heard it right. It is free to set up everything with them. So definitely check it out in the link below. Now before we dive into how to set up the virtual brands in your own kitchen, we must understand why it is such a great reason to do so. Well, the number one reason is that adding a new brand for your restaurant, you make even more money without you spending more. You still get the revenue from your existing clientele from your restaurant, but now you get the revenue from this virtual brand that you create from your restaurant. So definitely a win-win model. And this could very well mean an extra $10,000 for you every single month in revenue. And the second reason why it's such a good idea to set up your virtual brand from your restaurant, it is because it is super cost effective. Now, what do I mean by that? It allows you to test out multiple different brands at a fraction of the cost. Think about one thing. If you are wanting to try a new cuisine, a new idea in the marketplace, in the traditional world, you need to have a new storefront, new renovations, new city. It could easily take you months. And on top of that, now you have sunk in tens of thousands of dollars just to try out this new concept. But in this model, you can utilize your current infrastructure in your restaurant. Everything is the same. But now, you get to test a different cuisine out, a different brand to see if it actually works. You're skipping the tens of thousands of dollars of investment while you get the benefit to see whether this new brand, new cuisine, new menu item would work for your operations. And the third reason is because now you get to reach much more people out there. What do I mean by that? Well, let's say for example, you have a sushi house. You sell sushi, so when people search for sushi from a third party app, your brand pops out. Great, this is your regular customers, this is your bread and butter, great, automatic. Whereas you're skipping out on a lot of other cuisines. Nowadays, what you can do with your virtual brand is if you have interest in selling spaghetti, let's say, you can come up and spin out a spaghetti brand. So. Now when people are searching for spaghetti, your new brand pops up as well. A new type of demographic, a new restaurant, and a new customers for you. As a side note, even your loyal customers who love to eat sushi from you all the time, sometimes they get bored too. Sometimes they want to try something else. Sometimes they just want to try some spaghetti. And the fourth reason why it is such a beautiful model to have virtual brands in your kitchen and in your restaurant is because now you get to really maximize your sunk costs. What do I mean by that? Regardless of you having two brands or just one brand, you're still paying $2,000 in rent. Regardless of you busy or not, you still have staff while you have those dead hours. But now, because you have a virtual brand, you get to maximize the cost that you were about to pay and you're going to pay anyways. Now you get to split it between two operations. And this is how you can really maximize your dollars to make even more profits for your operations. 
And you know what's even more great about this concept? Is when you smash that like button because that just shows me and Jason this is a type of content we should create more of for you. So make sure you guys smash the like button if you want to build a virtual brand in your restaurant. Now that I got you super excited about the benefits of creating a virtual brand in your restaurant, now let's go ahead and actually do it. How to create a cloud kitchen in your restaurant. Let's dive in. Number one, do your research and see what your customers are searching for. If you're selling something that no one wants, then no one's going to buy it. It's not going to work. You do not want to do that. You want to sell something that everyone is wanting in your area. And that's the reason why you must do your research to see what is popular in your area. Do things the smart way, so then that way you don't need to fight an uphill battle right from the get-go. Quick tip for you guys, ask your target market what problems that they're having. If they are missing some late night munchies, then that is an opportunity for you. Second step, create a customized menu based on your current infrastructure. You don't need to reinvent the wheel, buy new equipment and buy new ingredients just so then that way you can pop up this virtual brand. Work with your chef to create a brand new brand, a new virtual brand that really allows you to do the least amount of work. Quick example for you. Let's say if you have this diner concept of a restaurant, you're selling spaghetti, burgers, mashed potatoes, Benedict's, all the good stuff. Well, you know what? A good opportunity for you is maybe spin off a burger brand, specifically selling just burgers, or a spaghetti brand, really focusing on spaghetti. This way, you're able to utilize your current infrastructure, so that way you don't need to invest more money to create these new brands. Step number three, create the branding. Branding is the fun stuff. It's what people see. It's how you make people feel. It's how you package your brand. At the end of the day, guys, make sure you guys spend the time and effort into branding your new virtual brand because people don't get to walk into your shop. What does that mean? That means your virtual brand needs to be on point, whether it's your logo, your name, your social media handles, all of this needs to be done and inconsistent and alignment. So then that way, this gives people trust. And once again, trust is the only reason why someone would buy something from you. They trust that your brand has one of the best and the most authentic spaghetti out there. And that's the reason why they would buy from you. Now, guys, if you do not have an aesthetic sense, if you do not know what is good branding, then easily go check out these two websites where you can find people can do it online for you. Some would cost maybe 50 to hundreds of dollars. Others can cost up to thousands of dollars. Check the site out and see what works for you. Fourth step is now to get integrated. You've done all the hard work. Now is the final step. Go and contact all the third party apps so then that way you can get onboarded with them and talk to their reps. And after you're onboarded with them, you got all their tablets. It's gonna be quite a few tablets, guys, and it's gonna be quite a long time of, you know what, negotiation for the right rates. But when you're done this, now you can set up your marketing campaign with them as well. So simply talk to these companies in order for you to get onboarded. We're talking about Postmates, uh, Grubhub, Uber Eats, DoorDash, all the big ones in your city. And the fifth step guys, it does not end there. We must always test, test and test in order for us to hit that big home run. Guys, the beauty about having virtual brands is the fact that honestly, the setup cost is quite low. It could be thousands of dollars, but it's okay because sometimes we don't know what works and what doesn't work. It could be the menu offering that is not working in the area. It could be your branding. It could be your operations. We just never know. And that's the reason why we must always test, test, and test. And believe it or not, guys, creating multiple brands just to test until you hit the home run is actually quite common. The biggest virtual brand company out there, Fazus, they have eight different brands right now. But before they finalize on their eight, guess how many brands they have tried? We're talking about dozens of brands. And that's just to show you that it's not as easy as having an idea. You must know what you're doing and continue to test, test, and test. But guys, the problem here is that it is a lot of work to do all these things. Guys, finding out the data is hard. Finding out the accurate data is very difficult and it requires a lot of skill. If you have a lot of time, 
if you have a lot of energy, then you know what? Yeah, go ahead and do it yourself. But what if someone can do all that legwork for you? So in that way, there is no guessing. Someone that knows how to do it and have the skill set to do it and have been doing it for years. So then that way, all you have to focus on is creating great, delicious food. And the rest of the stuff, someone else does it for you. This way, you get to do what you enjoy the most, that you're passionate about cooking and operating your restaurant while all the hard stuff is being dealt with by another party. This way, you're going to be able to increase your chances of success. Pretty good proposition, right? Well, this is where the on-demand company comes into play. So what do they do? Well, they come up with an idea, do all the research and analytics for you to see what are some of the items that are popular, but not being served in your area. Next up, they work with your chef to create a menu that's going to be profitable and that is also going to be in demand by your customers. And third, they create all the branding for you, the logos, the sites. And lastly, they onboard you with all the food delivery apps. So then that way you get the best rates possible because they have been doing it for a long time. And on top of that, guys, they also create marketing campaigns specifically for you. All you have to do is when you see the orders come through, you make the order, you deliver the order, and you are good to go. All the heavy lifting is done for you. And if you're ever thinking whether this works or not, some of their partners have seen increase by more than 200% in their delivery orders just by partnering up with the on-demand company. Now guys, I know this might seem like, wow, you know what, to work with them, it's gonna be very, very costly. Yes, it can be very costly, but because they are our friends, we've actually negotiated a perfect no-brainer deal for you. And that deal is a big fat zero. That means if you were to set up an account with them, they're gonna do all the legwork for you and it's gonna be completely for free. All you have to do is say that Wilson sent you to them, okay? So in the link below, go and reach out to them, say that Wilson sent you for you to get this whole setup completely for free. And I'm not joking. I'm so serious for you. They're gonna do everything for you for free. So what is the catch, guys? Yes, you know what? There is no free lunch in the world out there, and I agree with that. If a deal is too good to be true, it probably is, but for this one, it is not. It is a very fair deal because for every sale that they help you generate from this new virtual brand, they take a commission, a small cut from it, so then that way, they have skin in the game as well. Then this way, it becomes a win-win situation. So go ahead, in the link below, say Wilson sent you for you to qualify for your $0 setup fee. So there you go, friends. How do you set up your own cloud kitchen operation in your restaurant? I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you wanna learn more about how you can do that, how do you create a brand from scratch, then definitely check out our free training in the link below as well. We have a free masterclass just for you. Definitely check it out. And once again, if you guys enjoyed this type of content, give us a thumbs up. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.